up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode over on the Weston Smith channel, man. Today, we're giving y'all the full one-month review on our Ranger RT-188P. I'm going to tell you up front, we could not be more happy with this boat and the accessories, man. We've got it decked out with a lot of Garmin electronics that was kind of like questionable whether we wanted to spend the money on the stuff. I think you guys are really going to get some value out of this episode. Let's go ahead and tell you all about it, man. Go ahead and get into it, man. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the deck, get this thing all nice and prettied up for you guys. We'll start talking about it. All right, y'all. I think we're gonna start off from the back and work our way towards the front because we're very excited as we move forward as to what we're gonna talk about. The back end over here, um, there's not as much except for batteries live well. So let's get into it. First of all, y'all, we have the Mercury Pro XS 115 on the back of ours here. Uh, you can get the non Pro XS version. This one came highly recommended by a lot of friends just saying, go ahead and grab that if you can. It was an option that was already on this boat here. We went with the XS, could not be happier. You're gonna get a motor support with it from the dealership you buy it from. As far as wear and tear in the first months goes, you know, we got a couple, a couple little nicks here and there. We've hit a few stumps. I don't know if we've hit any rocks, but yeah, it's happened. Oh, we did run over the concrete. This is from not trimming the motor up. One of our first times ever taking the boat out and we kind of scraped the concrete on the ramp. It happens. On the back of ours, we have this Garmin transducer. That is for our 93 SV unit. Let's go ahead and now hop on the boat. So for us in the storage unit we're in, we can have up to 12 hours of electricity. And so we found that when we charge this boat, it actually gets a full charge just overnight. So anytime we wanna come and use this thing, 12 hours seems to be the ticket. I'm sure it could charge fully in less. And I don't think we've ever wore it all the way down, but it's nice to know if you guys get like a storage unit and maybe it doesn't have continuous power 24 seven, that if you plug it in and you get a 12 hour charge, it's gonna be enough to run your boat. As far as storage goes, these two boxes in the back we primarily leave open for when we have guests on the boat so like if my buddy's coming along and he's got a backpack somebody's joining us and they've got some tackle toss them in these two boxes right here that's really been their primary use and we've been loving having as much storage as we do this being our first boat we still haven't filled it up with all kinds of crazy tackle live well this thing has been amazing it's got a divider if you want to keep those fish separate the live well has worked fantastically for us every time we have needed it. The controls are right up here. So we just put it on manual and it starts filling. Once it gets a little water in there, we put it on auto and we switch this to auto. Then what it's gonna do is only cycle in new water every so often as it feels necessary. Next, we have the coin box. We opted to get the coin box instead of that third seat. We really enjoy having it. This guy has got a couple USB ports. Uh, it's got two cup holders on it right here, and it just makes for some extra storage space. We've been using it for primarily like the cell phones, things of that nature. Instead of that third seat, we really enjoy it. It also makes us an excellent step. You go from the back of the boat to the front of the boat with ease uh, instead of stepping over a third seat. Definitely a good option for us. We really enjoy that coin box being on there. And I think for the 2020 models, it is color matched. I don't know if it was on previous years, um, but yeah, the uh, coin box and the console on, and maybe it's the models is color matched and with that being said this is the 188 P 18 foot 8 inch as far as deck space goes man on the 188 we've had up to four people on this boat and we've actually had a bunch of fun I mean I feel like there was still plenty of room on this deck we've had three people out plenty of times that's actually been probably most frequent and then Devin and I when we get out we got just tons of space I mean it's been it's been fantastic so yeah man the 115 has been more than enough when we took this thing out to Lake Fork and we were running the boat lanes <laughs> We got this boat up to about 45 and I'm sure it would go a little faster. I wasn't really going full tilt. It wasn't just like glass calm, little slight chop. And uh, with the padded hull though, this is that 188P, you're supposed to get a little bit of a smoother ride, potentially a little increased top speed and just uh, that extra added comfort. So that padded hull might make a little bit of a difference. We also got the P because it comes with a built-in cooler that uh, would have just been extra storage for more tackle, but you have no idea how much we love this cooler that we now that we have it. I mean, it fits so much stuff. We put two, three bags of ice in there with I mean you could fit I mean we've always got water the coolers the coolers got so much space in there and you don't have to bring a cooler and occupy up deck space so that has been amazing we definitely love the cooler 
As far as the controls go, everything is pretty standard, I would imagine, across most of these other boats. You got your horn, bilge pump, you got your lights, so we have the navigation lights, you got your aerator, you got your live well, interior lights. I mean, pretty standard. One thing that we had added and we really enjoy is some USB ports right here. So say we wanted to run a GoPro right here on the front mount like you see a lot of people do, we can go ahead and have that GoPro charging all day and not have to put in multiple batteries or use a power bank or anything like that. We can just leave it plugged into the USBs while it's filming, or we've even used that to charge our GoPro batteries, cell phones, things of that nature so of course there is some in the coin box but this is just even easier for certain uses and applications so the thing has more than enough cup holders man definitely have not had one that's been out of reach at all i mean we got one here 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 and then this is a little pop out one that we found out about another cup holder up front i mean the thing has been ridiculous as far as this uh, secondary rod storage goes this has been fantastic too. You can see there's enough slots for four butt ends of rods, but we put like, I wanna say five, six, or however many, you just stack them there against the back, you Velcro them down, and that extra rod storage has definitely come in handy when taking friends out. And with the fact that we only got one rod strap in the front, which I wanted to at first, but I don't think we would have been as happy with two, just because since this isn't a 21 footer and doesn't have the largest amount of deck space, imagine if we had this here and then we had another one right here and then this is our walking space, you know, if we've got them maxed out with rods. So for us, one side has been perfect. We put eight or nine combos under that strap just fine. <laughs> and so what'll usually happen is we'll end up with like five here and four there or something like that as we fish and we've got plenty of space. So that's been great. The center step, we've just been decking out with some of the essentials, sunscreen, towels for cleaning the boat up afterwards, paper towels, bag for trash and plastics. Uh, this thing has been great. This little guy right here, we've got our line cutter attached to it via a carabiner. And then of course, once we get out, we usually put our pliers in there. Um, you know, if it was in a space maybe more concealed from the wind, that might be better because I would just leave all the tools in there as we drive. I, I do sometimes want to take those pliers out when we're in transit. That way you don't worry about them just like kind of flying out if you were to get very unlucky. Could end up hitting something back here, damaging the motor, hitting somebody behind you on the road. It's not a good idea. Yeah, the cooler though, has been amazing. It's got one easy plug down at the bottom to drain it. It takes literally just a minute or two to drain. Then you toss more ice in there and you are ready to go for the next adventure, man. Yeah, it's just got some swim baits in it. <laughs> we keep this box. This is pretty much where all our plastics go. So every time we take the boat out, we grab our money bags full of our plastics. We toss them in here. And this has been an excellent amount of space for all the soft plastics. And then what we do is all of our terminal tackle and a lot of our hard baits actually end up going in this front storage here. This thing has been where I put all my camera gear and then also a lot of our baits and our tackle backpack and all of our terminal. We just load everything in here. Every time we take the boat out, it's only like six bags total when you think about everything. So it's not that bad loading and unloading each time. And then also in here is, uh, we've used our seats a handful of times too. I'll go ahead and roll some footage of how easy these things are to install and just like set up. Boom. Unstrap. Open up, good to go. Yeah, it's that easy, man. It takes only about a minute and you're riding in style and comfort right here. I'm telling you what, these things have been amazing. I've only used it a couple times up at the front, but it really helps out as far as like pressure on your knees and stuff. If you're trying to work the trolling motor all day standing up, it makes a difference, man. Sometimes you wanna just kick back and relax. So the seats are definitely fantastic. We've got the one for the front and the back. Now we've got this storage up front here. Uh, we've just been keeping the net in here. We've also got our life vest. We've got our ropes and uh, fire extinguisher, buoys, all the essentials. I'm telling you what, I mean, it's more space than we have needed so far. There's going to be a day when we fill this thing up and it's just always got our supplies on it. But for the first month, we have not felt short of storage. That is 100% for sure. Obviously having the trim switches up front has been very beneficial. You'll find yourself in shallow water, trim the motor up. It has come in handy many a time. We've got more USB ports up here that we've used to charge more batteries and run equipment. And so uh, we had those installed aftermarket. This piece here that is new on the P models for 2020, uh, I believe maybe it comes on the non P versions, but I forget, but this mount supports up to like nine inch screens and we got a 10 inch. So we actually had to get a Ram mount placed on this deal. And that allows our screen to sit here, which is also good too, because if you needed to adjust your screen because of glare, we can actually rotate our screen and it's at slightly different angle than it would have been if it was installed on this flush mount. So that was actually a pro rather than a con. 
Now we also opted for the Garmin Force trolling motor with live scope transducer. I gotta say, even though this isn't part of uh, the Ranger portion of the review, the thing has been amazing. I mean, the first one was like a 70 horsepower maximum, no spot lock. This thing is a freaking dream. It's so quiet, effortless. The thing goes like four miles an hour and I think we're only running it on like running it on less battery than you guys might with your larger boats running more batteries so we can reduce weight and not have to do the whole 36 volt thing. So the thing has been amazing, super quiet with the brushless motor. Yeah, the spot lock has been ridiculous. That Maxim did not have it. Keeps you in a spot when you're retying or if you're in a sticky situation, there's a little bit of wind and you gotta adjust some stuff on the back of the boat. You can lock your location. Spot lock is a must and we are glad that we've got it on this thing. The transducer for live scope has been insane. I'll go ahead and overlay some footage of us seeing fish and watching our baits fall. I mean, the stuff has been crazy. We have that 102 SV screen up on the front. You'll see it right here. They are right in front of the boat. They're going towards you now, Devin. They're going towards you now, Devin. Oh. oh. Yep. That was a good. Dude, there's crappie all over our tree now. Wow. Wait, wait, look, look, look at that. Wow, look, look, there's the tree. Crazy, dude. They're under the boat, dude. Where's my bandito bug? There's the bandito bug. Watch. Pop, pop, pop. This is that 102 SV touchscreen unit. Four presets for all your menu options that you want to save on the fly. The thing has been amazing. And for the back, we've got the 93 SV. These are both the UHD units. Same thing, touchscreen, got room for presets. They've just been fantastic, man. We're loving these units. We'll put all the stuff down in the description if you guys want to check it out, of course. From the screens here down to the live scope and the transducers and everything. The pop-up cleats have also come in handy, and I would venture to say it's also saved us probably. Some people have those cleats that stick out, and a buddy of mine already recently broke a rod on someone else's boat whenever he was dealing with those cleats that stick out this way. So definitely these pop-up cleats have been beneficial. We've used them a few times, and it's nice having them stowed away in flush mount essentially when you don't need them, so that is definitely a pro for us. Also, we got the fishing package, which I feel like is a 100% necessity. I don't know why they call it the fishing package. You basically have to get it. It comprises of the cover, which the cover is so easy to use. With the 188, you get a single axle trailer. And although a double axle does bring you a little bit more comfort, it is nice knowing that you don't have to replace four tires every time they go out. It also comes with a spare with that fishing package. So we actually have a spare right up here in the front. So really there is peace of mind as long as you've got that uh, fishing package with the spare tire and the cover, things of that nature. Definitely the cover I feel like you have to get though, because I mean, look, if you're traveling down gravel roads to some of these places, you want your stuff covered. You don't want that dust just caking up on your carpet. It's gonna discolor it over time. Uh, well, of course it's gonna get colored over time it's going to speed up that process and so you might as well keep it looking good for as long as possible as far as the color goes man we got that red and let me tell you what we have been loving it it hasn't been showing the water spots too badly i know a lot of people complain about white that was the original color we wanted but i don't think it would have looked too good behind the tundra i think it's more of an off-white and i might be wrong but it looks like more of an off-white so it would have kind of clashed with our truck whereas this red just looks so good easy to clean and let me show you what we use to clean it as well with the help of you guys we've named our boat the hot tamale and we actually use this stuff called hot sauce to clean it it's uh, it's probably five more bucks than the original stuff we went with so you know you pay a little bit extra but the stuff is the ultimate water spot remover and high gloss sealant man it works like a charm we've also got their condition sauce right here for the seats so we spray those down as well after every time we take her out We've already had to use the anchor lights and the navigation lights. Everything works perfectly there. Still in the break-in period for a few more hours on the engine. We're just gonna take it easy and we've taken our 45. The foldable tongue we haven't had to use because we have this larger storage unit, but it does have the foldable tongue. So if you're in a space where you need that extra little bit tucked away, you have it. We're gonna do a full review on the Garmin Live Scope and probably this force trolling motor, but uh, just know we're very happy with everything we chose, not knowing if we wanted to spend the money on all those units at first, because it is a little bit more pricey than some of these other options out there, but uh, we have absolutely fallen in love with the stuff. We ran into a couple issues with the force. I think it's kind of well known. Some people's spot lock, it will act up. And so like whenever you hit spot lock, sometimes it backs you up and gets you back into the position you were in. And so that kind of causes confusion because sometimes you're like going forwards and then you find a spot you want to spot lock in, you hit the spot lock button and it kind of tracks you back and you go off course a little bit. And so that's kind of whack. I'm sure it's going to be fixed with an update in the future or for sure on these motors as uh, time goes on. And so I wouldn't really worry about that, but I've noticed sometimes it does track you backwards a little bit on the spot lock feature. With that being said, man, there's not too much else to say. I mean, everything just seems so fantastic with it. I feel like I've missed, I feel like I've missed a lot of things you might want to talk about in a review, but there's not 
a whole lot to say other than we love this boat, man. It's a brand new 2020 model. She starts every time. She runs and drives. I mean, what is there to say? The padded hull, coin box, and all the Garmin goodies have really brought this thing together. So I think the only thing we might add in the future potentially is maybe some power poles and grab some new gear for this thing. Speaking of which, we might go buy a new reel today. We're definitely gonna get out and do some fishing. So be looking out, man, because we're doing one video a day over on this channel. If you're not subscribed already, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.